Sometimes in my head I hear that, you know, my identity is being determined by my GPA and scores rather than who I am as a person. Your life will not work out if you don't get straight A's. Your disappointment, especially with all that your parents sacrificed for you. You've got to be better. You've got to be good. You've got to be better than average. The lack of a why. Why am I in school and why am I learning this? It turns into a competition of who has the most stress, who got the least sleep. My GPA doesn't tell you that I'm a first generation student. You know, it doesn't tell you that I have ADHD. It doesn't tell you any of these things. It just tells you what I can score on certain questions in a certain amount of time. It becomes how other people define your success. And I don't think that success fits into a box. In eighth grade, I tried out for my first club lacrosse team. The message was, you need to have very good grades because colleges are going to be looking at you now and you need to be able to prove that you are good enough to get into their school. For a lot of us in eighth grade, that's pretty scary. Everyone knew that we were all feeling pressure. Even the girls younger than us were stressed. The parents were stressed. Everyone was worried about college. We just kind of accepted it and we're all like, oh yeah, we're all stressed. Like, you're not special. My teammates basically became overcome with anxiety and it got to the point where they were in such a dark place that they had to be hospitalized. A lot of girls left the team. It had a severe impact on the rest of the girls on our team. I was shocked and um, it was definitely, I think, a wake up call for me for the level of stress and anxiety and depression that these young girls were seeing. We see growing numbers of students who are just simply opting out or refusing to engage. And, and what we see is when students are, are not engaging, in essence, what they're, they're turning down the opportunities to learn, they're turning down the extracurriculars, they're turning down their, their childhood. There is a difference between the pressure that they're under and then the toolkit or the skill set that they have to cope with those. They oftentimes are turning to drugs and alcohol or self-harm. You are going to list the major stressors right now at your school. We're grateful for our partnership with Challenge Success because we found in that a language and a process by which we could begin to analyze the way that we organize school. It gave me the perspective of school isn't everything. And that was kind of the first time I stepped up as a leader. I'm now the president of the student-run club that represents Challenge Success at our school. Sophomore year was the first year that we piloted no homework breaks. I was one of the people that helped create the Captain's Council, we can talk through issues. How do you navigate stress? Do kids get a mental health day where they can take a day off from practice, no questions asked? Being on that team with faculty, she had a real voice and she was able to have a real impact. Challenge success it was completely transformative. <laughs> Just reading the questions that they ask of the parents, um, illuminates the issues and the challenges. You know, what, what are your goals for your kid? You know, what do you hope that they do? As a result of our work with Challenge Success, we've had an opportunity to do a couple of really big things, I think. The first and foremost is that we implemented a late start schedule. In addition, we were able to create homework, study, and review teams. If students are leading it and enough students are involved, eventually you can have shifts. I want our students to follow their passions and recognize that they're able to run their own race in life. Not the pace of everyone else, but their own race to their own goals. I think school should be overall just like kind of calming. Somewhere we should go to pursue our dreams. I think that you should be able to be passionate. That idea of, oh, that's just how it is, you know, but why? Why is it that that's just how it is? We should be able to change that.